What's up guys, this is Mansi. welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to expand binomial expression. So here in this example I have x squared minus 2x plus 1 to the power of 3. However, as you see here inside the bracket we have 3 terms instead of 2 terms. So what we need to do, we need to factor it because it's x squared minus 2x plus 1. When you factor this quadratic function you're going to end up having x minus 1 to the power of 2 that represents x squared minus 2x plus 1 so in fact it's going to be x minus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 so that's going to be x minus 1 to the power of 6 now it's binomial and it's to the power of 6 now we can expand it the way we expand it is going to be 6c0 x to the power of 6, negative 1 to the power of 0, plus 6c1, x to the power of 5, negative 1 to the power of 1, plus 6c2, x to the power of 4, negative 1 to the power of 2, plus 6c3, x to the power of 3, negative 1 to the power of 3, plus 6c4, x to the power of 2, negative 1 to the power of 4, plus 6c5 x to the power 1 negative 1 to the power 5 plus 6c6 x to the power of 0 negative 1 to the power of 6 now we need to find out the coefficients which are 6c0 6c1 and so on how do we find it if we have ncr we can use this formula n factorial over r factorial times n minus 1 factorial for example if we have 6c1 it's going to be 6 factorial over 1 factorial 6 minus 1 factorial so 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 here we have 1 times 5 factorial which is 5 4 3 2 1 so this part and this part cancel out and the answer is going to be 6. So we need to do the same thing for these 7 coefficients in here. However, we have another method to find it. We can use Pascal triangle. When you use Pascal triangle, you need to find the 6th row and then find the number, which are 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6 and 1. So as you see here, we have 7 terms for them. So it's 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So we sub it there. 1 times x to the power of 6. Negative 1 to the power of 0 is going to be 1. So the answer is going to be x to the power of 6. Next one is negative 1 to the power of 1. So it's going to be negative, negative 6, x to the power of 5. Then plus, because negative 1 to the power of even number, and here this number is 15 so 15 x to the power of 4 next is going to be negative again so every other term is going to be negative or positive 20 x to the power of 3 plus 15 x to the power of 2 minus 6 x plus 1 so that's going to be the expansion of x squared minus 2x plus 1 to the power of 3. As you see here, when you expand it, the exponent of the first term is reducing, which is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the exponent of the second term is increasing, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the index of this expansion is 6, so we're going to end up having 7 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. And one more thing, when you for each term, when you add the exponents, you're going to always have the same number as this one. For example, 6 plus 0 is going to be 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 plus 3 is 6. And so on. So, that's the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That's the only way you can help this channel growing. And thank you for watching and have a great day.